Conceive, believe, achieve. This is former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Michael Bisping. Paddy the Baddy here. You're listening to Combat Sports UK. And you're watching Combat Sports UK. Join backstage cage 156 for the Mason the Dragon Jones. Mason, obviously, you was looking like you were going to be headlining this card. That didn't come into fruition. But how do you feel not knowing what you're going to be doing next? What can I say? I want to fight tonight. I'm ready to fight tonight. My weight is good. My performance and training is good. I'm fit. I'm ready. This is the best I've felt in a long time and I'm injury free. But it didn't materialize. The contracts didn't appear. I didn't sign my name on any dotted line and it was just opponents pulling out after opponents pulling out. And like I've always said, who wants to fight me? Clearly no one. So they've talked about moving the card. I'm hoping to fight in a few weeks with Cage Warriors. Uh, or with someone else, I just need to get out there and fight them. It's been 12 months, and so far, between injuries, contract disputes, contract negotiations, big organization stalling, it's just been a long 12 months. More than getting paid, I just want to get back out there and put some gloves on and show people who I am, and so they remember that, yeah, Mason's a contender no matter where he goes. And after leaving the UFC almost this time last year, like you said, a lot of promotions have been sniffing around, you've been interested in a few, You've even said to us like there was a chance the ultimate fighter was an opportunity. Yeah. You know, knowing that McGregor and Chandler are doing it, was that something that really intrigued you? Like the, the layout of how the show works, or was it just about getting back in there? So I've never been that interested in the ultimate fighter, but the opportunity came up, we discussed it, and my management team recommended that I wait in negotiations we had in the UFC and I trusted in the negotiations and I wait. Then they announced that it was Conor and Chandler, so when the offer was up, it was just for the ultimate fighter, it wasn't for Conor McGregor and Chandler and the ultimate fighter. So that was in a completely different set of negotiations. So when the time we found out it was, the management team got in touch with them and said, look, this, this talk about it. And they said, obviously it's too late, you've missed the negotiation period, we've already casted it. Was I upset about it? Not really, no. Um, we were still speaking to the UFC, we were still in touch with other big organizations and negotiations have just been on and off for months. These things apparently take time and time that they're wasting his mind on there. So it is annoying. That is something I want to get settled soon. I was hoping to get a quick turnaround fight. They had nine weeks to get me matched and the nine weeks didn't didn't generate anything concrete. Again, I've signed nothing. So if you're in our big organizations interested, please get in touch with our management team. Apart from that, I think I'm probably gonna to have to sort these contracts myself because I, I want to get girls back on and I want to, I want people to remember who I am, but they seem to have forgot. So we need to sort them who up. I, well, I need to tell them who I am again. And just on that, obviously, a lot of Mason Jones fans out there, obviously nothing signed, nothing's confirmed, but at this moment in time, does it look like Cage Warriors will be the next location for your fight? Or is it hard to say at this point? I thought 12 months ago, I would have been signing a new contract with the UFC. Then after that, I thought I'd be fighting on a San Diego card. Then I thought I was going to be fighting on a card in Sacramento. Then I thought I was going to be fighting on a card in France. Then I thought I was going to be fighting on a card in Newcastle, I believe. Then I thought I was going to be fighting uh, somewhere in Dublin. Then I thought I'd be fighting in Cardiff. Now I may be fighting in Rome or somewhere else. There's, there's no point speculating until my name goes out. I had people buy tickets for this card. I was marketing tickets myself and when my family and friends were messaging me and coaches and training partners, I said, I've not signed anything, just wait a minute. I was still pushing, obviously, because I was marking the fight that they told me was signed and nothing, well, injuries, injuries happen, they pulled out, it's just annoying, but it is, unfortunately, part of the game. And just whilst we've got you, I'd love to ask someone, like someone who trains at your gym, we've, we've followed him a lot through his amateur journey. Smith? No, I was going to know. Unfortunately, <laughs> not Lewis Smith, but somebody who's just turned pro, he's 2-0 now, now you're Ian McKenzie, I'd love yep. to just wonder, you've you trained within the Lion. What did, how far is this kid going to go? Because we've watched a lot of him fight now. He's looking really good at an excellent start. Yeah. He's fought in America now. How far does Lion go? Lion train. Lion? <laughs> the Lion train, trains like a pro. Um, he trains very hard. He's dedicated. He's got a job. He's juggling and he's training full time. He's in the gym. He works hard. He's got good nutritionist. And he's, he's got good talent. He's a good wrestling and we've worked together a lot. He's got a long way to go, but he works hard and he's dangerous in the gym. We've, he's helped me a lot for this camp that was supposed to have been tonight. And um, yeah, he's, he's got a lot of potential and he's got a lot of good coaches around him. Again, it all depends on the route he takes, but so far he's, he's doing well. He's doing really well. So 
I think the guy, you know, the sky's the limit for the iron. So it all depends on what he wants and the journey he decides to take. But I think 100%, 100%, he can do what he wants to do. Right? I think he can make it all the way if he wants to. But it's it's a hard, tough, <laughs> hard journey. Um, I said hard twice because you, it's financially a burden. It's non-rewarding. It's difficult in the body and it's a long career like 21 years i've been in the sport 21 years i've been going head to head and i've been hitting people in the head it's hard it's hard in your family it's hard in your friends it's hard in your relationships and it's hard in the back so again it just gets to the point where sometimes it's questionable but if you really want it and you it, it, in your heart you, it tells you that that's that's what you can be and that's what you know you can do then you just got to keep pushing and his time is his time will come if he pushes and just like my time's gonna come well, we're excited to see him back, and more importantly, we're excited to see you back in the cage. I can't wait, wherever that may be, whether it's cage royals, whether it's UFC, PFL, whatever it might be. Makes me can't wait to see you back in there. Thanks so much for inviting me. And yeah, uh, if you don't know, I'm Mason the Dragon Jones, and I'm going to be on your screen soon enough. Check me out. Whoosh.